Hey guys, it's Desiree. I'm so excited to show you how to make this adorable pineapple cake today. For this, we've used the brush stroke technique that's made popular by Russian cake designer Kalabasa. A lot of times you see that having a very abstract look with multiple colors. We've put our own fun twist on it here and have used it to make this super cute pineapple cake. Now don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any videos like this one. So we're going to get started by making the yellow pieces that are going to go on the outside of our pineapple. I have a cake board here covered in parchment paper, and I'm going to take our yellow candy melts, which I've already melted down, and we're going to drop a dollop onto the parchment. And then I'm just going to take my spatula and swipe. Now that I've filled my board up, I'm going to put this in the fridge for about 15 to 20 minutes to make sure the candy completely sets. You're going to want to make about 12 dozen of these little yellow pieces. It will use a whole bag of candy melts. I know it may sound like a lot, but this goes pretty quickly. You saw it was a relatively simple technique, and it's going to give this awesome look of texture on our pineapple cake. Next, we're going to make the leaves for the top of the pineapple. To do this, we're going to use our green candy color with the bright white candy melts to get the shade that we want. It's very important that you use our candy colors for this, which are oil-based, versus our regular gel colors, which are water-based. Those will cause your candy melts to seize. You'll wanna take a toothpick and add a little bit of color to the bright white melts. Start with a little bit at a time, because remember, you can always add more color, but you can't take it away. Make sure to use a fresh toothpick each time so that you don't contaminate your color with candy melts. We're going to use the same technique as before, but when we swipe our spatula, we're going to curve it just a little bit to have the shape of the pineapple leaves. And we're going to want to do this in different sizes and different lengths. You want pieces that curve in both directions. Now we're ready to start decorating our cake. You'll just want to peel off each piece of yellow candy. And you can see how easily those pop off. And we're actually going to start at the top of our cake and work our way down because each row is going to overlap the last. Just press each piece lightly onto the buttercream. Once you've placed all the candy pieces on, all that's left is to finish the top. So I'm going to take my green pieces from earlier, pop them off of the parchment, and for these longer pieces, I'm actually going to take a lollipop stick and a little bit more melted candy and apply that to the back. Arrange one at a time. And there you have it. That's how you use the brush stroke technique with candy melts to make this pineapple cake. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Leave us a comment below on what you would like to see next. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of the latest ideas. And be a pineapple. Stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet on the inside. Thanks for watching.